into this. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk about why debt is so amazing and I'm going to shatter your belief on having to pay off everything as quick as you can. I'm gonna come up with the double up plan and before I get into it, I wanna make sure that I point out good debt. So there's two different debts. There's bad debt, there's good debt. Bad debt is things you buy that cost you money. Good debt, such as real estate, is things that you buy that make you money. So I'm gonna start and we're gonna say that you have $100,000 in equity. If you've owned a home in London for at least three years, chances are you have at least $100,000 in equity in your house, okay? I'm gonna, we're gonna borrow $80,000 of this equity because you're allowed to borrow up to 80% loan to value. So we're gonna borrow $80,000 and we're gonna buy a rental property, okay? So I'm just for this example, we're gonna say your house is worth 300,000 right now and the rental property you're buying is worth $250,000. So year one to five, this is a five year plan. So year one to five, you have one rental, one personal property. So you've now taken out more debt because you own two houses. So you're going to pay down $45,000 over five years. How I got this number, your personal property is going to pay down $5,000 a year for five years, which is 25,000, and the rental is gonna pay down 4,000 a year, five years, 20,000. So that brings us to $45,000. Your appreciation on two houses versus one is going to be $82,500, and I'm only going at 3% per year. Again, I am strictly talking about the London market. We have seen two to 4% as a very simple benchmark. So to say under 3% is very unlikely, okay? So I'm giving very conservative numbers on this whole thing. So how we got that? $9,000 a year on your personal is 45,000. 7,500 a year on your rental is 37,500, which brings us to 82,500. Also, we're gonna say you're making $6,000 in five years on cash flow. So you're making $100 per month on your rental property. That's $1,200, five years, that's $6,000, okay? So total, these numbers add up to $133,000 plus your initial $100,000 you came in with. So you have made, you've turned your $100,000 to $233,000 500 in five years. Again, these are all simple numbers. I'm not compounding interest. So actually, if you wanted to take it further, it would be more, but I wanna give it very basic numbers. So with 233,000, again, we're going to double up. We're gonna times it by eight, so we're gonna borrow 80% of this money, which is $186,800. So again, this is year one to five. We're now on year six to 10. So we're going to now buy two more rental properties because each time we're doubling up. We're gonna buy two more rental properties. We have the original rental and we have the original principal residence. Okay, so now we have four houses. Because of the appreciation, each one of the rentals are gonna be worth 290,000 and the principal's worth 345,000. So again, this is year six to 10 and we have came in with a $233,500 net worth on the properties. So this time we're gonna pay down $85,000 because we have 25,000 per year, or sorry, 25,000, 5,000 per year on the personal, and we have 4,000 per year, which is 20,000 times three is 60,000. So we're paying down $85,000 by owning these properties. And again, these three, you're not really gonna be doing too much for. Rentals are incredible. If you pick the right tenant, you don't have to do too much work. It all goes into picking the right tenant, and we'll talk about that in another video. Um, appreciation, 82,200, or sorry, $182,250. So you've almost doubled your net worth just on the appreciation. How'd I get that number? Your personal, you're going up $10,350 per year, that's 3% of 345, which is 51,750. Sorry, I'm looking at the board, so I'm messing my numbers up a bit. Rental property, $8,700 per year times five times three because you have three properties. So it's $130,500. Cash flow, $18,000 because again, $100 a month. Now we have three properties. So we're gonna take 
the original 233,500, plus we add all these up, that's 285, $250. Brings us to a total of $518,750. Okay, so this is after 10 years, we've turned your 100,000 into 500,000. And what have you done? What's the difference other than buying a couple properties and maybe taking a couple phone calls? And if you don't like the phone calls, get a property manager. That's another video we'll talk about later. Maybe you're too busy to do this, but Look at the numbers. You literally times your net worth by five and you have done nothing for it. This is the way to go. Forget saving, get in debt. Forget earning two or three or even 7% in the bank when you can leverage your money and make huge money. Literally, we're doubling. We're over doubling every single time when we look at our net worth. So I'm gonna do this example one more time and I'm gonna show you how you can make over a million dollars in 15 years for doing nothing. And if that doesn't excite you, then I don't know what the heck you're thinking. So $518,000, we're gonna take 80%, again, because you can borrow 80%. Now, I mean, could the laws change within the next 10 years? Absolutely. Who knows what's gonna happen, but this theory is good for right now you can borrow $415,000. So again, always keep in mind, we're doubling. So that gives you one personal property and seven rental properties. This is example, or sorry, these are years 11 to 15. You came in with a $518,000 net worth. Your rental properties are gonna be worth $333,500 each. Your personal is 395 because we're factoring in the appreciation. So this time, and this is where the numbers just start to explode, and I'm not going to keep going. You can do the math, you could reach out to me and I can do the math with you. Appreciation alone is $409,425. So literally for just owning homes, you're making 400,000. That's almost, that literally 80,000 per year just on appreciation. Most jobs, you don't make $80,000 a year anymore. How did I get the numbers? On your rentals, you're making $10,005 times five years times seven properties. Personal is $11,850 a year times five. Your mortgage pay down, because every time you make a payment to the bank, you owe less to the bank, right? So your mortgage pay down is $165,000. How did I get that? 4,000 a year times five times seven. Personal, 5,000 a year times five. Cash flow, that's money coming in your pocket every single month, $42,000. That's a, that's a nice chunk of change, right? A couple vacations without even thinking about it. So now, these numbers add up to 616,475, plus your original 518,750, which you came in with, that's 1.135175 million dollars in 15 years. I just showed you how to make a million dollars without changing your lifestyle, without one dollar added. You already probably have this equity. And let's say you don't, let's say you just bought your first property. So what, what if we have to take 25 years? So you could still make a million dollars. And what if we doubled these numbers and we doubled these numbers? I'm not gonna go into it, but what if we doubled it one more time? We see each time you over double, so that would be what? 15, so 16 to 20, you'd have 2.5. 21 to 25, you'd have over 5 million. Um, 26 to 30, you'd have over $10 million. I'm not saying money is everything, but what could that do for your family? How could that positively impact your life, your children's lives, your retirement? What if you like the SPCA, okay? What if you really care about animals and you have a $10 million net worth? Do you think you could donate a million dollars and change people's lives or animals' lives or whoever? Absolutely. So, if you want to learn more about this, please feel free to reach out to me because this is really making your money work for you. $100,000, and I did this with simple math. There's no tricks here. This is very simple math. By all means, challenge my calculations. 100,000 can turn into 1.13. So that literally is a thousand percent return on investment. You show me where that kind of number exists. Thank you so much for watching.